another episode of The Talking Drum with keepers of the culture, Cheryl Hinton and Deborah Pierce Fakule. We're so glad you could join us today and we have an exciting show planned for you. Yes, we do. And make sure that you stay tuned for more. You are the queen of heart, the bearer of the wisdom, the storyteller supreme, the storyteller queen. Thank you so much for returning again to the Talking Drum with Keepers of the Culture. We have some wonderful guests for you today and we're so excited. We just can't wait for them to get here. Deborah, what do you think? I think that this show is going to be simply great. Great. And we're going to take you into a different part of the museum, a part of the mansion. So get ready for some great action to come. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was wonderful. And I'm so excited about all the other guests that we have to come. I mean, I have a tremendous list of folks and we can't wait for you guys to join us as well. So if you know anyone who's interested in being a part of the Talking Drum and looking at the arts and cultures within Baltimore City and beyond, give us a call. Take a look at this. We hope you enjoyed that segment of the show and we're going to have more to come. So stay tuned and we'll have more. We'll be right back. Drop that, this drum. I mean, drop that, the tree. 
that drum was. But until when they got to that kingdom, you know, the king was like, who drum is that? That ain't my drum. Stop playing with me. They said, yeah, this is your drum. And so he got all the animals together, all their families to wait for the animals got together. And then they had an animal party. All the animals came, and the king started to play his drum. Something else is just as exciting too. That's what we do. We bring excitement through this show. Take a look at this. From Wisconsin said to me, said to all of us down in Kumbalama in South Carolina, this is the time to forgive the unforgivable. The time to forgive the unforgivable. We have to own it and let it go. Because if we can't do that, anything else we do will be temporal, will be temporary. Whether it's cleaning up the environment, or whether it's dealing with economic matters within our communities, whether it's even personal healing. How many elders have said to me, you know, that person was healed when they got up. But as soon as they walked out of here and walked back into their normal setting, they let go of the healing. We can't let go of the healing. So as we talk about prophecy, the projected probability when we slip into that holy of holy place within is that all is well. But we have to be it. We have to act in that knowing. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Mahatma Gandhi said, there is a soul force in the universe which if we permit it will flow through us and produce miraculous results. And the grandmothers who have been my guides all my life, these four old ladies in spirit who have been bossing me around, making me crazy, but that's their job, always say, if you can love enough, if you will live enough, and if you will let go enough, the seeds in you will flourish and the world will be reborn. Thank you from my heart Here on the Talking Drum, we like to show you what art and culture is all about here in the Baltimore metropolitan area and beyond. Art can be many things. It can be dance, it can be song, it can be poetry. And we're here to show you all aspects of that from the minor to the major. Because art is in everything. It can be in painting your fingernails. Gotcha. It can be in doing your hair. We know that 
art is living and we want to live art on this show. Exactly. All day and every day here at the Talking Drum. So here's an example of what we're talking about. Yes, it was a great example of art being alive. Wasn't that great? That was awesome. It really, really was. You know, Deborah, we as a people are really fabulous. I mean, art is just tremendous. There's just so many things that we can do with it. And as I said many times before, from the very minor to very major, there's so much we can do with what we call as art. With what we do. I know that's very true. And in all kinds of forms, from, from dance to singing to um designs and everything. It's just an art form. You know, one of the things that I, I thought was very, very interesting, I met a lady who, who, who termed herself a um, griot artist with fabric. So I thought that was very interesting. And, and the things that she make are just that. They are stories made. It's kind of like quilting, but it's wearable quilt wear that she does. I think I met that woman. Well, we're gonna take a break right here. Vermin that was raised up, and then the woman was told to go out and multiply the earth in all directions. So I think in respect to all the phenomenal women, there's an expression of mother and children. Right. And then okay, go ahead. we're going to step to Mother Nature and Mother Nature. All right, now let me hold it and get right in front of it. Okay. okay. And mother Nature is our universal mother. She is the creator, example of all the mothers from the heavens to this sacred place called Earth. And if you notice, she seemed to be yelling out because I felt like when I was um, creating her, I felt like she was very displeased at the way the Earth is looking. So that's an example of, and now all the fabric is hand sewn. Now this is called the Divine Key. Now if you look at it, this is the womb of the mother. And if you look, it's a glass bead in the middle with a red rose on the inside, which represents an embryo. So from the embryo stage, it passes to the birth canal and it comes out as a fertility of life. So this is the divine key of motherhood. It's the circle of life. Because all the children are our circle, they are our future, and this is sewn on African paper fabric. Now, in, the, in our culture, 
whatever material you use, wood, whatever you pick from the earth, you retain it. So this table consists of every piece of fabric that I wrap my hair with, there's a big block cut off of it. And these fabrics represent every piece of art that's exhibited here today. And I'm also a part of the Maryland Women Heritage Center. I'm one of the inductees as an unsung Maryland Huron. Because of my work in Baltimore City, I'm a community leader. I've been given a 30-year award for my activist work in the city. I run a homeless service. I run an outreach ministry for women. And I just think that education is the essential key for everything. Well, we hope you really enjoyed that. We have more things like that coming your way. That was wonderful. And I'm so excited about all the other guests that we have to come. I mean, I have a tremendous list of folks and we can't wait for you guys to join us as well. So if you know anyone who's interested in being a part of the Talking Drum and looking at the arts and cultures within Baltimore City and beyond, give us a call. We hope you enjoyed the show. Yes, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please, please come back the next time for the Talking Drum with Keepers of the Culture, Cheryl Hinton and Deborah Pierce. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.